Hello friends, it's Kat from Meow Meow Kapow. I've been doing this YouTube thing for a while now, and a few of you have asked for advice on how to start a channel of your own, or you've asked about some logistics, like how much money you can make doing this. So let's chat a bit about what my experience has been like and some of the advice I have to share while making this little oil painting that's sort of a self-portrait. All the materials, of course, will be listed down in the doobly-doo if you want to give them a try yourself. I'll also have a link to where you can buy this painting if you're interested. First of all, let's talk money, since that's probably one of the things a lot of people are most curious about. At the time of making this video, the requirements to even be eligible for monetization are something along the lines of 1,000 new subscribers per year and 50,000 minutes watched per year minimum. Aside from occasionally accepting freelance illustration gigs and art shows, being Meow Meow Kapow is my only job, meaning I can commit pretty much all of my time to building my online presence and business. As a result of having very few other obligations and working myself until I had multiple mental breakdowns from stress, I managed to get monetized a little after a year of starting my channel. However, this is honestly an unrealistic setup for most people who have families to take care of and companies to work for and want to maintain a healthy mental balance. I've actually cut back a lot in the last few months because trying to make YouTube work for real seriously is not for the faint of heart. Because consider this. I was working probably about 80 or more hours a week for free for over a year before I could even be considered for a paycheck. In the real world, that's not something pretty much anyone would do. But that's okay, because eventually I got my monetization and all that sweet, sweet ad revenue came rolling in. Right? Not exactly. See, the way you get paid through YouTube is that each little penny that you earn per ad is saved up until you finally earned a minimum of $100 at which point you get that money paid out to you. This means that even after you've worked and waited for over a year, you still have to wait months and months, most likely, to even get any money at all. You can not get paid any amount less than $100. So keep in mind that essentially, getting paid from YouTube is a long con. Which, by the way, I've been monetized for about six months and finally got my first $100 payment recently, if that helps you understand just how long this process can be. What's my point in mentioning this? Well, if you're looking to start a YouTube channel and a goal of yours is to eventually be able to make this your full-time job, I want you to go in with the proper expectations. This is not likely to be an overnight get-rich-quick thing, and there's a lot of time and effort that goes into making a channel successful. If you're willing to put in that time and go after your dream hard, then I am super pumped for your success. Just please keep in mind that there are going to be a lot of hurdles in the way, and you'll need to find ways to supplement your income if you can. Since my narcolepsy prevents me from maintaining a real job, the things I do are sell my artwork on Etsy, make Skillshare courses, rely on those kind people that click Amazon and Jackson's and Arteza links and the doobly-doo, and either buy stuff or download the free Kindle app with no strings attached, and occasionally take on illustration clients. You always need to figure out a way to monetize your brand if you're going to make this your living. Now that we've got the money stuff out of the way, let's talk about the advice I have for someone who might be starting off or thinking about it. First of all, one of the best things I did for myself was get the best equipment I could afford before beginning my channel. The Snowball mic I've been using since day one to record these voiceovers, as well as the Canon Vixia HF R800 camera, were the best investments I could have possibly made. But I did that right as I was ending my career as a teacher and had a reliable income. If you like the quality of my recordings, I highly recommend these both as a starting set and, of course, links for them are down below. However, if you can't afford to spend the scratch on some new equipment, you've probably at least got a phone with a camera on it and possibly even a pair of headphones with a built-in microphone. There are plenty of YouTubers who start off using exactly that, and if you're not sure if this is a hobby for you or something you're really going to go hard on, it may be worth it to start off just using what you have. Regardless of what you use, the most important step is to just do it. Make that first video and get it over with. It will be garbage, but you'll learn a lot about what to do or what not to do along the way. Personally, the first video I ever posted to YouTube is something I find hilariously different from how I do things now, but I'm grateful I took the chance and just did the darn thing. Don't let anything hold you back. I promise you will get better and better the more you do this, as long as you just take that first step and then stick with it. Expect and accept that you will always be making mistakes, but learning from them. Another piece of advice I use myself is thinking about other videos as research. Consider the other channels you enjoy and figure out what it is that you like about their videos, as well as figuring out what you don't like about the videos of certain other channels. For me, I really like short and sweet binge-worthy channels that promote positivity and also have corny jokes thrown in here and there. 
I also really like clear camera and audio quality, and I like to be politely reminded to consider liking and subscribing, rather than having it loudly demanded. If you pin down what you do and don't like to see in other people's videos, it can help give you a clearer idea of what your own style could be. And this doesn't go for just art YouTuber videos, by the way. All this advice can be used by anyone starting any type of channel. Next up, be prepared in your videos as much as you can. If you're vlogging, then think about how you can overall tell the story of the events in one video when you cut it together. Maybe you'll need to make more than one video, and that's totally fine. If you're making a voiceover but like to do freeform things, at least plot out bullet points ahead of time about what you want to hit on, so you make sure you at least include the things that you wanted to in addition to whatever else may come. Personally, I write full scripts beforehand for every single one of my videos because I know about myself that I will get extremely off topic without one. Not everyone likes to work this way and that's totally cool, but do keep in mind that every single YouTube video is essentially a small story of some sort being told and it needs to have a plot that an audience can follow. Lastly, I talked about how long it can take to get monetized and that there are subscriber and minutes watched minimums that you have to hit in order to even be eligible. Because those numbers are so large, especially when you're just starting out, it can be easy to lose sight of how much progress you've already made if you still have so much further to go. I highly recommend making a bullet journal or tracker of some sort to have a visual representation of your progress and goals. Start off with celebrating your first 5 subscribers, then your first 10, then 20, then 50, then 100. Make those distances in the beginning small so you can use them as motivation because I'm telling you now, every single little bubble I got to fill in on my tracker really put into perspective just how well I was doing. It was really hard for me to wrap my head around it without the trackers, but once I set that up for myself, I suddenly had a much more positive and optimistic outlook on my channel growth. Please, let yourself celebrate your successes, even if you might think they're small. They're still successes! I'd also like to recommend here getting to know other people in the community. We're all just people, and I know that I've gained unexpected and excellent friendships just by chatting with other creators and leaving comments in their videos. One of the best surprises about joining YouTube has been growing closer to all of you, because I was so afraid that this would be a mean and angry environment that I'd have to wade through seas of bullies to find the one or two kind of people. It's been exactly the opposite, in my experience, where it's increasingly hard for me to think of any cruel people and have only found love and support and helpfulness to fill my memories. The point being, don't be afraid to reach out. Not everyone will have the time to answer questions left and right, but most people will at least have the time to give one small piece of advice or point you in the direction of a hopefully helpful YouTube video they made and are currently recording the voiceover for. I'd like to give a brief shout out in the iCards to Eve Bolt, who was the first YouTuber to encourage me to start my own channel, for whom I am eternally grateful of the advice and friendship. There are also plenty of others, like Jennifer Charlie, Dr. Otokano, Denise Soden, Sadie Saves the Day, and Malamic Art, and so many others who have given me invaluable support throughout this and all deserve so much love as well. I'm ashamed to say I almost forgot to mention Arlie Bean, who is a beacon of positivity and is just a gosh darn treasure. Man, I know there are so many of you that I'm forgetting right now, and I'm so sorry, but I promise I love you all. This is probably one of the longer videos I've done in a while, and as I mentioned, I prefer to keep them short and sweet. So if you're already a content creator yourself, I'd love it if you took the time to drop some advice down in the comments for anyone who needs it. Think about something you wish someone had told you before you started. If you're thinking about making a channel for yourself or are just curious in general, feel free to ask your questions down below. Honestly, just getting to know other YouTubers and asking them for their advice can be one of the best ways to get a better understanding of what to expect and how to succeed. Please, everyone, feel free to answer. This is a whole community and we each have our own unique perspectives and experiences. A pretty rad community, I think. Hopefully this will help someone some way, someday. Until I see you next time, I wish you peace, love, and great success. Bye!